is News Channel 3 at 10. We begin tonight with a breaking news update on a sexual assault investigation we've been following all day long. Police have identified at least one man they believe was involved. Thanks for joining us. I'm Kristen Holloway. WREG's Michael Quander is in the studio with the late breaking details. Michael, you've been on this all day. What have you learned? Yeah, well, Kristen, this information just into our newsroom tonight. We can tell you that police have not found any charges in this case, but they still say this is an ongoing investigation. Now, I want you to take a look. The Memphis Police Department posted these pictures on its Facebook page earlier today, asking the public for help identifying the men and the car they were driving. Police now know at least one of the suspects and who they are. All of this after a woman reported being sexually assaulted after leaving a club near the entertainment district off of BB King uh, near the FedEx Forum. The 23 year old victim told officers she woke up in the back of a car with two men she didn't even know. One of them was driving, and the other police say was inappropriately touching her. I mean, it's sad that we live in a world where people have no morals and things like that happen. And that's someone's mother, and someone's sister, and someone's daughter, and they wouldn't want someone doing that to their family. So. Yeah, now that victim was ditched at a gas station at Poplar and Tillman uh, in the Binghamton area where she was, where she had some, someone call 911 for help. Police say the men they believe to be involved were caught on camera. Again, MPD now saying they know who at least one of those men are and uh, they don't need your tips anymore. Now, at, again, at this point, no charges are filed right now, but that could change sometime in the future. Michael Quandra, WREG. News Channel 3. Thank you so much, Michael. Well